Did you know that Fluffy has a new awesome merch lineup? We got hats. Well, we got one hat. We got mugs. Well, we got one mug. I got a t-shirt. We've got the AI generated alien fan club long sleeve. That thing is sick. It's official Fluffy Talks merchandise and it's the only place you can get it. Link to the store in the description under this video. Hey, what's up? Today we're gonna be doing uh, world's worst bumper stickers. These are stickers that you put on your cars. You can put them on the back of your car, the front of your car, the sides of your cars. Shit, you can put them under your car if you want, but nobody's gonna see them. Anyway, let's get into it. This is World's Worst Bumper Stickers. Let's do it! This is uh, number three. Let's do it! And stay tuned to the end where I have a few of your fan bumper stickers that you sent in. Hey, what's up? Here's my new favorite bumper sticker. Yeah, a provocative Bigfoot using a raccoon to cover up his groin. Or maybe he's using the raccoon to scrub himself. Maybe that's how he takes a bath. I don't know. There is something very sexual about this, and I like it. Imagine walking into the middle of the woods, and you have this amazing experience where you see Bigfoot, and you're blown away, but he's also posing like this with a raccoon in front of his crotch, just kind of like petting it in a sort of sexual way. And he's just like, hey, I'm feeling very friendly today. Oh, that's the real scary thing about Bigfoot is he's going to come on to you. My son was inmate of the month at Jackson County Jail. Wow. Well, that's nice that she's still celebrating his accomplishments. You should have a little picture of him beside that. Inmate of the month, what do you have to do? Who do you gotta shiv to be inmate of the month? I poo my pants and it's okay. Please don't pull me over, I have to make poopy. It just looks like an elderly couple is just like, we poop our pants and that's okay. They're real activists for adult diapers and hey, if you have to wear adult diapers, there's nothing wrong with that. I just don't know if you should be advertising that you're pooping your pants on the back of your car. Although it might keep people from riding your ass. You know, if you if they think you're shitting your pants while you're driving, you're like, oh, okay, well that's why they're driving so slow because they're currently shitting their pants. It's a great alternative to seat warmers, I guess. This one just says fucking skanks with a pair of brass knuckles. What are you gonna punch all the skanks? This one could be taken two ways. It's like, you're, are you disappointed? Like, ah, oh, fucking skanks. Or are you like, yeah, I'm, I'm fucking skanks. I should probably get myself tested, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Booby Bouncer. Uh, is that what your car is called? The Booby Bouncer? Those stars, are they not in, like, your viewing area? Are those stars see-through? Are they not covering up your actual area where you would be looking at the road? When I put a sticker on my car, I don't want it right here. Like, right where I'm looking. That seems a little distracting. And also, if it's a Booby Bouncer car, you're gonna have the distraction of the star in the front, and... Well, you know, you're gonna be very distracted. I guess they didn't read the license plate. It said, please stop. And clearly this car was rear-ended. I mean, it was probably one of those people that is just, cause you know, there's like an actual condition where like people, if you tell someone to do something, they like have to do the opposite. You know, like they just physically and mentally cannot do what people tell them. So maybe someone who has that condition read your license plate, said, please stop. And they're like, nobody tells me what to do cranked their music, hit the gas, and just rammed you. They're like, yeah, well, don't tell me what to do, asshole. You know, really, they could have backed up into someone, too. It's a lot of speculation. Here's another license plate. Okay, this one's getting covered up a little bit, but I hope your license plate isn't my STD. The flag must be covering up, right? Oh, it just says, I heart my STD. Oh, okay, my STD. Oh, shit. Wh which one is it? Which one is your STD? Did you start it? Are you patient zero? Let's see. Oh, here's another license plate one. My license plate literally says, love tofu, I'm a vegan. Peter told WGME, adding that he had no ill intentions. Main thinks this vegan's love tofu license plate is vulgar, so they recalled it. Well, it does also say love to F you. I mean, it's got a double meaning. It technically is vulgar, just depending on how you read it. Love to foo, love to foo, Lo love to foo. It's late. Okay, one more license plate before we get back 
to the bumper stickers, my favorite. My Wiener. Do you think that's like their name, like Mawina or something? It's like, my Wiener. I just like to imagine like a man just got kicked in the crotch and he's running around going, my Wiener, my Wiener. Like picture him like a German man, like my Wiener, my Wiener. Hello, Janai. I'm gonna wave my hand. This is probably the best one in the whole video. This Forrest Gump waiver. My windshield wiper would be on 24 seven. It would not have to be raining. That thing would be always running just to give people a laugh. I'd like literally do it when people are like riding your ass, you just throw it on and be like, hello, Jenny. I love you, Jenny. Jenny. This was in the school drop off line. Milf mobile. If you're gonna ride my ass, at least pull my hair. That one is so overdone. Hella kids in this bitch. Honk if one falls out. Oh shit. Oh, they have the only gay cops give me tickets. Condoms prevent minivans. Caution, this vehicle makes sudden stops at your mom's house and the license plate is tits out. Oh, and then there's a Team Satan 666. I have a feeling that some of these were photoshopped on, okay? I have a feeling. I'm sure all these bumper stickers actually exist though. <laughs> oh shit, okay, maybe you need to get a different minivan for your dropping off of your children or, you know, don't be putting all that shit on your minivan. Right. Team Satan? Like you what? that one is that one real? That's the one where I'm like, come on. Everything else kinda has a theme. And then that one just throws a wrench into it. Yeah, we're a bunch of horny milfs that worship Satan. Wow, that sounds like a really bad horror movie. Like a B movie from the 80s. Horny milfs who worship Satan. I would watch that movie. I'd give it a go. I love me a good B horror film from the 80s. Anything like 86, 87, 89. Oh, that was a good time for horror movies. Motherfucker stole my plate, called 911. They wouldn't send anyone out. Went to BMV. They need an officer to sign paper. Please pull me over. This guy desperately needs to be pulled over. He's just going around speeding, cutting people off flipping off cops. He's like, what do I gotta do? <laughs> you know what you do? You put a, put the bumper sticker next to this, uh, the one that's uh, only gay cops pull me over and then kind of just see what happens, like an experiment. And then maybe you can experiment with the cop if he pulls you over, you know? Stay humble. Stay home if you sick. Come over if you thick. And then there's a little fuck COVID-19. Oh yeah, Hello Kitty with a rifle. That isn't conflicting at all. Oh my God, there's a bumper sticker that says black rifles matter. Holy shit. All right, this one just went way downhill with that last bumper sticker I just read. Holy shit, get your life together. Oh, this must have been during COVID times. Someone started a bumper sticker collection. Sometimes you just read the bumper stickers and you're like, wow, I can just tell this person is not the kind of person that I want to be around. It's nice to see people taking the green initiative fueled by recycled dinosaurs. Bones? You put in little bones in there? Where are you getting the dinosaur bones? That seems like a very expensive way to fuel your car. I like this bumper sticker. This one's gonna get the fluffy stamp of approval. Wait. What else we got here? I didn't know what I was looking at for a while. Laughing my ass off. I didn't either. This is a gardening service. Wow. I'm gonna tell you right now, it's gonna take a second for your eyes to adjust to this one, but it's not two men banging their naked butts together. It's hands like this, like holding flowers. What you're seeing is the palms, not two dudes just kind of like, uh, uh, come get your garden landscaped, uh. <sighs> I make myself cringe. Just picture them getting out and they're like, no, it was butts. And they get out and they're just like, kind of like party boy dancing, like, mm, 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 mm. You asked for the deluxe package. This one, I guess this car is called Big Red Ho. Nice, your car has a nice name. 69, sex all day. I-69, do you? Mean people suck, nice people swallow. Oh my God. This girl needs some white stuff. Why is everything so sexual? Does this actually work? This van looks like at any moment you could be pulled into it and you would never be seen again. Do you think like some woman's gonna pull up behind you and be like, wow, I 69, let's do this. Oh, here's a good uh, Dave's erection. What? Okay, I'm not gonna be going to Dave's erection website. Not even gonna tell you the rest of the website because I don't want you to have to go there, okay? I would love it if this was just like a website where it's actually him just trying to get like medical advice. You know, like you go to the website and it's just a close-up of a mole and he's like, does this look cancerous to you? I couldn't think of another way. It's like a mole on his penis though. So he's like, I just couldn't think of another way to get people to look, okay? I had to trick you. Is anyone an expert? Oh yeah, man, you should have that removed. 
Like the whole penis or just the mole? I like my women how I like my glasses sitting on my face. <laughs> Why is it all so sexual? No one is reading your bumper sticker and getting turned on. All right, now let's do a few fan bumper stickers. I got a few of them. Not a lot. I got a couple. This one was sent by a fan. It said, uh, powered by bitch dust. What is uh, technically bitch dust? That's the dust that bitchy people produce. Hmm, I didn't know there was a dust. When a bitch farts, is that... Bitch dust. So you just get bitchy people to fart in your gas tank and then it's powered by bitch dust. Okay, no, it makes sense now, I understand. Moving on. Now this next person sent me a ton of bumper stickers that they had, but these two are the ones that stood out on your car for me, okay? Uh, this first one that says Glory Hole. Now that one is homemade, okay? You made that one just because you, look, it's all fun and games until you find a homeless guy putting his penis in your gas tank. And he's like, look, you put Glory Hole on something, I'm gonna have sex with it, all right? I don't have a lot of options out here on the streets. And this one that says, caution, driver masturbating. <laughs> You're asking to catch charges there. What if a cop pulls you over and you just happen to be like scratching your crotch or something? He's like, holy shit, you were actually doing it? Oh yeah, caution, driver masturbating. That's a tricky one. <laughs> you know, People are gonna be looking like, I wonder if he actually is. You just like drive past and you're like, you're using your gear shifter, and they're like, that's sick fuck. <laughs> anyway, that's the video. Thank you for sending in some of your uh, bumper stickers. Thank you for being here and watching the video, and I'll see you again soon. Check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash fluffy talks. Get yourself some cool fluffy merch. Check it out, or don't. It's fine. That's completely your choice. Oh, and come up to your screen real quick. <gasps> Boop. Gotcha. Totally gotcha. Oh, I got you.